Oh, it's fast. How do we stop? I don't know how to stop. <laughs> wow, that was so fast. Ahoy, salty dog. Welcome back to Interstellar Rift. My name is Lenscap, and uh, today we're going to continue exploring the galaxy. I wanted to check out what all this loot is, though, in this station. I'm um, in the last episode. We flew over to a new station and, uh, and completed a uh, a mission. Um, and there's all this cargo here. I wonder what's going to happen if I take it. Like, I don't see. There's not any like turrets or automated defenses that I know of or anything. So, uh, let's just take it. Yes. Can I just have this? I think I can just have this. I'm I'm gonna take it. I don't even know what most of this stuff is, but I'm taking all of it. <laughs> All of it that I can, anyway. Where's my ship? Do they have... I wonder if they have a cargo teleporter here. If they do, I could just uh, send it into um, send it into my ship. If not, I can teleport to my ship and, uh, and load it in that way. Here is a personal resource vault. I don't want to put it in there. I want to put it in my ship. Stair deck. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to teleport to the ship and uh, uh, and load it into the cargo pads that way. Here we go. This is cool. I don't even know what uh, what a lot of these various kind of cargo things are. Okay, let's check and make sure the life support's running real quick. Yeah, we're good there. Okay, so let's see. What have we got? What have we got? Here's some hydrogen. We can go ahead and put that into our tanks. Uh, let's find a tank. Yep, that'll go in there. Okay, this is... Please open. <laughs> this is copper ore. We can put the copper ore... Let's see, that's all oxygen, so let's leave that there. Let's put copper ore here. This is brass scrap. Okay. What is this one? Zinc ore. That's carbon. This one is... What is the orange recycle symbol? This has got to be copper scrap. Okay, the green, that's going to be silicon scrap. The white, okay, it says iron scrap. Some, some more zinc scrap and some steel scrap. Okay, we got to go find another cargo pad. Cool. Let's go see what else is there. Uh, let's go back to the station and grab the rest of this loot. <laughs> We're getting some loot, fellas. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's go up the stairs and go this way. It's a little bit quicker to get to the cargo then. Oh, that's the life support system. Okay. Take all this stuff. Looks like a couple more crates of things. And I think that's all the loot I've got access to. I'm taking all of it, though. Why wouldn't I, right? Okay, let's go back to the Kestrel and get started with what I had planned on for this. There is a thing that I wanted to check out today. Let's just dump all this here. Uh, okay, and here. There we go. Yeah, we got, well, well, we'll sort through it later, but for now, I wanted to go check out a thing. Um, our transponder, we're not doing anything with. Let's hop in the captain's chair. Warp. So this is a new thing now. There is a warp, uh, like a warp speed thing that you can do now. Um, I kind of wanted to look into that a little bit, but I also wanted to this. The S3 Commerce Conglomerate Hub, uh, 180 kilometers away. Now this is the only thing that's gold on the on the HUD. So I wanted to float around and see what that's about. Whoa, we're fast. Um, I wanted to float around and see what that's all about. So maybe we can find uh, something cool there. But maybe we can check out this new warp thing. They just added this in one of the recent patches. 
So I think that's going to be really cool. Let's see how it works. So let's get up to speed. And now that we've got our shields off, we can actually go at speed. <laughs> let's check out warp. Engage. Let's see how fast it actually is. Oh, it's fast. How do we stop? I don't know how to stop. <laughs> wow, that was so fast. Okay. Close. Stop. All momentum. <laughs> wow. Okay. Cool, man. Cool, man. Okay. The warp is amazing. Wow, that was fast. How far do we overshoot by? Pretty far. <laughs> wow. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Okay. Sweet. Oh, man. The warp. That's game changer for sure. Now we can go... Uh, and, uh, and find far away things much more easily. I think we're gonna uh, do some exploratory stuff here in this craft pretty soon. We may have to build um, another craft specifically for exploring now that we have an idea of how to build ships and stuff. Uh, it might be a good idea to, uh, to redesign one that's made specifically for exploring. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's head on over to this commerce conglomerate hub and see what we can find out there. All right, we're closing in on the waypoint here. Uh, it is, oh, there it is, loading in. Okay, <laughs> I was just, uh, I was just concerned. I was like, I don't see anything yet. We're only like five kilometers away, uh, but, uh, but here it is. So, let's see. I think we can go ahead and slow down. Oh, a little bit of, uh, of a lag spike as things load in. Okay, so this is, this is the place. Let's get a little bit closer. Uh, we need to be within 500 meters. Oh, oh gosh, oh stop, stop. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit laggy here um, while we're moving, but I think it's because it's all the things loading in. Um, I took a little bit of damage to my ship. We're at 974, so, and my armor is a little damaged. I, I rammed an asteroid on the way here, whoops. Uh, okay, anyway, let's hop out of the cockpit. And, uh, and see if we can't teleport into this trade hub. I want to know what this place is all about. Open for me door, thank you. Uh, maybe we can offload some of this scrap or something, uh, or or at least uh, refine it to something else. Okay, let's go ahead and teleport. We're gonna need some more fuel soon. Uh, it's amazing how quickly we go through fuel, but that does make sense. I mean, we are traveling pretty vast distances, so. All right, so this place is cool looking can and it's got it's shielded. Can we see our ship from here? I Think we're on the other side of the station. No, there's our ship. Oh, yes. We finally get to see the Kestrel out of a window <laughs> I uh, I've been waiting so long to see it. Okay uh, Okay, this has the same problem. I was having I don't know the name of this room we're going into Teleporter room one, so that that has leads me to believe that there are multiple teleporter rooms. Uh, this is a really cool hallway. Wow. Yeah, I might have to rethink some of my ship designs uh, after playing this a little bit. So, from my understanding too, like the developers of this game who made all these stations, uh, these were all made with the same ship editor uh, that I have access to. So I think it's really cool when the developers give you access to their tools uh, in their games. That's really neat. Welcome. Thank you. I feel very welcomed. Okay, what have we got here? This place is crazy. Commerce room. Commerce room. Okay, we'll check that out later. Let's run over here. Uh, the flickering lights, by the way, uh, for anybody who is curious, I, uh, I spoke with one of the developers, actually, in, uh, in the comments of my last video. Um, that's really cool that they're watching my videos. I, I, I think that's really neat. But they said that that is a bug they're trying to work on. It happens with AMD graphics cards, uh, which I have an AMD card, so that's exactly what it is. Okay, it looks like this hallway just, uh, just kind of goes all the way around. Yeah, commerce room in the middle. Safe travels and welcome on the other side. I like it. I like it. Okay, I did see around uh, one of these ways, I saw a stair leading down engineering hallway. Okay, so let's see. Can I go into engineering? Access denied, yeah. Some of these stations don't let you get into parts of them. 
um, which I think is cool too. Actually, uh, that they that they uh, that they do that. I wonder if there's a way to break in. That's what I want to do because ah, uh, this is a beautiful room. Wow, this is a cool looking place. Okay, we gotta check this out. We gotta check this out. Uh, yeah, anyway, I completely lost my train of thought when we walked in here. Uh, wow, this is a cool looking room. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna be able to break into stuff, cause, you know, pirate. <laughs> um, okay, Storatron, we got one of these. Let's see, what can I buy? Let's go ahead and repair my ship for sure. I definitely need to do that. Okay, so we repaired the ship. Store ship? No, I don't want to store the ship. Can we purchase something? We can purchase this. A small combat vessel equipped with multiple weapons and a salvage unit. And these are all the parts that it has. Okay, do we have enough money to buy this? We need six six hundred thousand units and we only have eighty eight thousand. Okay, so we don't we can't buy that. Let's see if this Storatron is any different. Okay, it's got the same ship in it. More deposits. Okay, we can do missions from here. Eviction notice. Rabble rousing. Okay, we might check out some missions. I want to look at all these shops, though, and see if there are other ships. That's the Peregrine as well. Also the Peregrine. Okay, that's, uh, that's cool. That's cool. I'd like to see a little variety in the Storatrons, but uh, um, I don't know if that's even a thing. I don't know how it works at all in the back end. Here are the Galactic Trade uh, kiosks. I guess there are four of them. What's up, Redbot? So we can see... Oh, I can buy stuff straight and put it straight into my cargo. That's awesome. Can I sell? Can I sell things from my cargo? I can. Look on ship. Can I sort this list? Okay, that would be cool if I could sort the list uh, from these categories up here. You know, like so I can see uh, without having to scroll through. I can see what resources I have. Um, what is this? Is that like a turret? Maybe defense drone. How much is this? I totally could buy it. 25,000 units? I don't know what I would need it for. Okay, what is this one? Standard shell. Can I buy ammunition? Standard ammo. Okay, I can. I can buy a lot of ammunition. Is that the same kind of ammunition my guns use? Then we don't have to craft it. Although it could be worth crafting it. Belerium, deuterium, tetraxanthium. I don't know, dude. This is crazy stuff. Dizanthium. Yeah, we're gonna have to look into this a little bit further. Some of these things. Is this menu the same? Let's compare. So there's our one defense drone on the station and five on demand. So we could buy a total of six of them if we chose. 1250, 1250. Okay, so they're the same. Let's see if the trade things are the same. 1250. Okay, so it has to do more so with uh, with the station itself. That's cool. Let's buy some ammo and uh, let's buy some ammo and see what we can see if we can't do anything. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna hold off actually uh, until we know a little bit more about the guns. I, I think we need to craft our own ammo before we buy some. Okay, they have a medical bay here. Can we go into the medical bay? We can. And it's beautifully lit in blue. I like the theme. It does not seem to be very much of a medical bay, does it? Uh, just two respawn things. And that is what these are, confirmed. Uh, respawn things. Okay. So, yeah, this is a really cool station. Uh, maybe we do a mission from here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up a mission and do something at least. Let's see what this rabble rousing mission is all about. That sounds like fun. Uh, 
Pilot, we are in need of your services. A, conglomerate, a conglomeration of rabble has been putting up stationary defense tourists around valuable asteroid fields. This is preventing one of our clients from conducting their mining business. Please head to one of these asteroid fields in the system and clear out their unwanted defenses. You will receive hazard pay, of course. Steel uh, credits, and I think that's, I guess that's reputation with this faction. Uh, I don't want to do that one, though, because I, I don't have defenses. This one is another smuggling kind of mission. Maybe we do this one. Yeah, this one rewards as much money as we currently have, so maybe we take this one. We have a shipment of sensitive electronics that urgently need transportation within the system. Okay, well, let's do some missions and get some money. All right, uh, back in the Kestrel, I've got our mission in hand. Um, it looks like we are headed in the direction of the Black Pit, although I can't really tell because of that stellar mass um, right here, this cloud. So I can't exactly see through where exactly the waypoint is. I don't think... It looks like 286 maybe, so maybe it's a little bit further than, uh, than where the Black Pit is. Let's try this warp out again. That was uh, that was really cool. So now I don't know how to stop the warp. Uh, I just kind of spammed a bunch of keys until it happened. So I'm gonna try. Okay, X. Yeah. Okay. So X halts all momentum, um, even in warp. So that will work. That'll stop us completely. So let's go ahead and engage our warp again. This warp mechanic is really nice. That was my biggest complaint, was that it, it was too slow to get from place to place. Um, okay, we've dropped out of warp. And that's where we're going. 11 kilometers. Not bad, not bad. I love this warp mechanic. This is great, man. This is so great. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're almost there. So I'm thinking what we do is deliver this mission, maybe take another one. And we've done a couple of missions together, a couple of these uh, transport missions like this. So maybe I do a couple of these off camera and build up some money. Uh, that's a little frightening. Defense drones there. Um, maybe I uh, maybe I build up some money though, and uh, so we can get some get our hands on some resources, um, and we work on maybe a, like a mining ship or something. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we want to do next. But a mining ship could be fun. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and turn this mission in and uh, and see what we want to do next. Um, if you guys have ideas for what our next bit of progression should be, um, let me know in the comments because I'm kind of at a loss. Like, I'm not entirely sure what the progression in this game is supposed to look like. Um, I'm just having fun running around, flying around, doing uh, doing missions, and I keep teleporting to my own ship. So let's try this again. Um, I'm having fun doing the doing the cargo missions though. Um, it's it's uh, it's pretty enjoyable, and I really like flying around. Oh, this is a cool color scheme in here too. Yeah, I think we need to build some more ships. I think that's what we need to do. Okay, here's the rift room. Oh, okay. Here's a map of the. Please select a system. Okay, I can't. <laughs> There's nothing there. But this map appears to have systems. Hadron, is that our system? Ah! Oh, I see. What is this above us? This is crazy! What is this? Can, am I damaged if I touch it? <laughs> No. Oh, man. That's wild. What is this? Rift room. I don't know what this is. Okay, transporters and missions. We need to go hear some stairs. This is what I was looking for. <clears throat> we'll, we'll turn that, excuse me, we'll turn that mission in for sure, but I want to uh, look around. A oh, cute little table. Okay, let's go. I saw something on the other side that maybe we should check out over here. That uh, looks like something I haven't seen before. What does this say? F 
fuel repair fuel cool like a fuel depot hydro packs hydro packs kestrel okay we can repair but there's no repair cost can we buy fuel it acts like we could buy fuel ah here it is hydro packs rift hub so we can buy stuff from here oh so there's the whole like galactic trade thing going on maybe let's look i didn't pay attention to the prices of the ammo from the other station maybe i should have because it looks like buy for 80 so buy for 104 i think it's cheaper here than it was at the other station or am i crazy okay interesting interesting so i can sell okay this is cool this is cool this is this is really cool i bet on a server this is awesome maybe we should try and find a server uh for us to play on before we get too deep into this game um maybe we make a server i don't know but i'm just thinking out loud <laughs> don't say stuff like that let's get some videos <laughs> people expect you to do it all right let's look at uh, but that could be fun that could be fun uh all right let's check our mail we should have completed this mission yeah mission complete and we've doubled our money nice nice so that was cool let's see if we can do a mission for these guys now yeah hydropex supplies needed for expansion scout system Ooh, what's this one about we need a skilled pilot to quickly gather some scouting data in Polkatory ZC882 in order to find out whether or not a suitable candidate for our business practices, you will be compensated for your services. Yeah, we can do this one. Let's try out a scouting mission. We haven't done one of those yet. But we're probably going to have to save the actual mission for the next episode. Um, what I'm going to do is run over to my ship and, uh, and go ahead and teleport to it. And uh, we will meet up next time uh, back in the ship in transit to the scouting mission um, until then thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode i'm really enjoying this game we're gonna keep playing it for sure i'll see you in the next one stay tuned